So probably the most common questions I get is about my truck. So I figured let's make a video about how to tow with a half ton truck, modifications I've made and what you need to do to make sure you are towing safely. So stay tuned. So we are pulling a 35 foot travel trailer with the tongue weight of about 700 to 750 pounds. Very minimal squat. So it is possible to do with a half ton truck. I will show you how I do it. So obviously one of the most important things to have is a good weight distribution hitch. It's gonna help you tow safely, keep the truck and the trailer level, and it's going to evenly distribute the weight between the frame of the truck and the frame of the trailer. There are a couple different ways to adjust a weight distribution hitch. Mine is a kind that has spacer rings in there that will adjust the angle. And then you can also adjust where you put the actual brackets. And you can see how it's worn because I have the friction hitch type. And what you don't want to do is have the bars angled so they're up or down. You want to try to have those bars as level as possible. That's going to give you the best sway control, but also not torque or tweak any of the parts in there. It's going to keep it all level and balanced. The reason you'd want to adjust your weight distribution is so that you don't have too much squat there. And the reason squat is so bad is not as much for appearance. I mean, that bothers me but it's for the front. If your front lifts up, your steering is not gonna be nearly as under control. So too much weight pushing down lifts up the truck, and I see it quite a lot where you've got the truck at that angle and the trailer at that angle, and that is not good. You want things to be as level as possible through the frames. So the biggest adjustment I made to my truck was installing rear suspension airbags. What those are gonna do is not allow you to carry more weight, because if you think about it, it's still the same amount of weight pushing down on the suspension of your truck. But what it's gonna do is soften your ride. It's gonna take some of the pressure off of those springs. In my case, I have the coil springs, and allow it to not bounce quite as much. So the ride is much smoother with these airbags. And yes, it does help prevent some of the squat. It does not allow you to carry more weight. That's a common misconception. You're still under the limitations of whatever the springs and the suspension of your truck can carry. So don't overload that no matter what you do. But the bags are definitely gonna give it a better ride and help you not squat as much. The airbags I have, it's the Airlift 1000, up to 1,000 pounds of load leveling capacity. You'll notice it just says load leveling. It doesn't say it'll increase your cargo capacity, so be careful. But it is designed, you can see here, it goes inside your coil springs, expands, and helps support that extra weight. So there's, there's the airbag inside the coil springs. So here's the valve for my airbags. I had these installed by the Chrysler dealer and actually it only cost me $175 so they did a good job wound the lines right up there and I inflate mine to 30 psi before I put the weight of the tongue on the ball. So in my case the air springs helped quite a lot with the squat and the ride quality so I would definitely recommend getting something to support that extra weight being pushed down on the bed of your truck. Another thing you're definitely going to want good tow mirrors. This is in the down position. This is something that Ram does. The Fords and Chevys, they have the whole thing will slide out. But what Ram does that I love, they might not look the most beautiful in towing position. Right now they look really nice. Put it up to the towing position. 
look how far those stick out. So these are a great distance out, gives you a good view right down the side of your truck and the trailer. And when we're driving, I can actually even see the tires of my trailer. And that's because of this lovely bubble mirror. I have no blind spots because of the width of that bubble. So because of those tow mirrors, I can see everything down the side of my truck and trailer. These are essential. If you are not equipped with tow mirrors, there are different things you can get that'll slide on, clip on. There's a lot of different options you can get, but make sure you have good mirrors. So there's two main numbers you want to take into consideration when you're planning on towing with a half ton. Got your towing capacity and your cargo capacity. The common misconception is that the towing capacity is actually the most important, but to me, with a half ton, cargo capacity is more important because that's the one that people tend to go over the weight on. For example, this truck, it has a towing capacity of about 10,700 pounds. That sounds like I could tow any travel trailer that I want to, but the cargo capacity under the manufacturer's numbers say I can only haul about 1,500 pounds. That includes all the occupants, everything in the bed, and the tongue weight of the trailer. So you can imagine how quickly you're gonna hit that number and exceed your cargo capacity. If you want an accurate reading, right inside the driver's door panel, there is a yellow sticker that'll tell you your exact truck's cargo capacity. They do that because of the different add-ons, like I have the running boards, I have a tonneau cover, Everything that gets added onto these trucks is going to lower that cargo capacity because you're increasing the weight of the vehicle. So we had the truck first. We didn't know when I first bought this truck that we were going to be RVing as soon as we are. But as soon as I had the truck, I started looking at the numbers and then I found out I actually bought the perfect tow vehicle. So once I found that out, then we went RV shopping to find the right travel trailer within the weight limits of this truck. So we had the truck first, so we knew exactly what trailer to shop for. So that we could start right now, instead of putting off this dream to travel more and take the kids out more, we wanna go with what we had. And sometimes that's what you have to do. And most of the time, that's when you're going to see somebody towing with a half ton truck. Either that or simply the cost. MSRP on this truck was only 47,000. I say only because that's a lot of money still but you get into a good three quarter or one ton truck, you're looking at 60, 70, $80,000 for a truck. That is a big commitment on the financial side. So not everyone can swing that, not everyone can do that. So you gotta to tow with what you have available to you. So that's what we did. We went shopping for a trailer. We found a good lightweight trailer with a low tongue weight. Now the tongue weight of a trailer should be about 10% of the overall weight. So if you've got a 10,000 pound trailer, most likely your tongue weight's gonna be about 1,000 pounds. Well, if your cargo capacity is only 1,500 pounds, it depends on what you put in the bed of the truck and how much your occupants weigh is if you're gonna exceed that number. So you're very limited. In our case, the tongue weight is about 700 pounds. Because there are six of us in the family, our occupancy and the tongue weight basically maxes it out. So if you've ever seen any of our videos, you know we keep very little in the bed of the truck. If anything, it's the lightweight camping chairs or their scooters. We don't ever put anything with major weight in the back of the truck because we're already at our maximum cargo capacity. That is your biggest limitation. Because if you heard me right, we have a 700 pound tongue weight and we are at max capacity on this truck. So will I ever upgrade my truck in the future? Yeah, I'll get something bigger. I want to be safe. I want to have a nice ride. But for now, this truck has done an amazing job. And if you have a half ton truck, just double check your numbers to make sure you can pull safely with the truck that you have. Some half ton trucks have a lower or higher cargo capacity than I do, and they have a lower towing capacity. So there are some V6 trucks out there that might only be able to tow six or 7,000 pounds. You're gonna be kind of limited. But with mine, I have the, the V8 Hemi, so it can tow a lot of weight. And honestly, we've even driven through the mountains and this thing hardly works. I can do 65 miles an hour and it's sitting at 2,000 RPMs, even going uphill. I, I try to drive according to RPMs, not miles per hour, because I don't wanna overwork the truck. So it's very possible to do, to tow with these with a trailer like mine that has a 
a loaded weight of a 7,000 to 7,500 pounds, and it pulls it wonderfully. The only complaint is the cargo capacity. This did squat quite a bit, which is why I installed the airbags, which is why I'm careful not to overload the back of the truck. So there's just a lot more thought that goes into towing with a half ton truck. You also want to make sure that you have good tires that have a good load rating that can handle that extra weight on the back of your truck. Most factory tires are going to be okay, but those tend to go, I don't know, something about the factory tires, they're really soft or something, they, they want a really good ride. They tend to get worn really fast. So if you're going to be upgrading your tires, just make sure you're not just going El Cheapo tires. You want to make sure you get a good load rating so that you can handle that, that extra weight. So the best thing you can do is have a good weight distribution hitch. Make sure it is set up properly for your trailer and your truck to ride level. You never want to do that. I've seen way too much of that on the road. It seems a little unhealthy. So hopefully this has been helpful just to kind of give some clarity about what the different weights and the weight ratings and things you need to keep in mind. Like I said, you never want to put off your dream just because you don't have the perfect one ton dually truck. Not everybody can do that. Go with what you have. Just do it safely. Know your numbers so that you are within the limits so you are not putting yourself, your family, and others at risk out on the road. So just know what you're doing. Double check those weights. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, because we're going to be back on the road doing some more stuff very soon. And hey, when I do upgrade this truck, I will let you know. See you next time.